Hi, my name is Kerry Stamp. I'm a financial advisor in Jupiter, Florida. And what I'd like to talk about today is how do you get out of a winning equity or a winning stock position? You see, I think it's generally pretty easy to buy a stock, but when it goes up and you start to see your balance go up, the question then becomes, uh, how long do I want to hold this one? So here's how to avoid a lot of the big mistakes when you're selling a winner. One of the first things that I would do is anytime I buy a security, I ask myself, why am I buying this? And what do I expect to see from this particular company? And in many cases, you never expect to see a stock go up five or 10 or more times in a short period of time, but it happens. And when it does, you need to be prepared for how you're going to react to it, both from a strategy standpoint and an emotional standpoint. So here's what we do. We set price targets. So if you buy a stock at $25, and let's say you buy a thousand shares, so you bought $25,000 worth of the stock, you might say, if this stock gets to $50 at some point in the future, I am willing to sell 20% of my position. I'm gonna take some money off the table. I will sell 200 shares. And if this company gets to $100 at some point in the future, I am willing to sell another 20% of my original position or 200 shares. As the value of the stock goes up, you're slowly taking a little bit of money off the table. You're still involved, you're still in the game. So if it continues to rise, you've still got exposure to that particular company. But it's not a common thing to see a stock go from $25 to $250 in a very short period of time. In the most recent markets that we've had, we're, we're seeing this far more frequently than we have in my 30 year career as a financial advisor. If this happens to you, you want to have a strategy in place for slowly moving out of that position. Don't sell it all out in the beginning because you might miss some big upside. But I'm saying, take some money off the table as that particular company is going out and set the price targets. The last thing, and this is incredibly important because your mind will play tricks on you. Once this gets to $100 a share, you will say to yourself, geez, maybe I should take out this order that I put in to sell these 200 shares and change it to 110 or 120 or 150 or whatever it is. Don't do that. Let this stock go at 100 bucks a share. Don't try to second guess it. Make it a non-emotional response to what's going on in the markets. Because if you second guess yourself, the odds are that you're not particularly likely to be right. There's only two emotions in the stock market, fear and greed. And once you recognize those two things, you'll realize that a systematic strategy can solve the issues associated with them. I'm Kerry Stamp, and this has been a Principled Wealth Moment. <music>